Hello everyone, welcome back to The Last Cube. We are now at what seems to be the last of the main set of three gates to come here to the yellow face into yellow one, the palace. So let's jump in here and I presume we're going to be using all faces at all times now, but I've no idea if there's some extra area after we complete this set of three or whether this will be the three main last set of challenges. Right, well, for a start, we can get ourselves a purple face here. And a green face. So with the green face, we can lift ourselves up here. Then we can bring a red face down. Stick ourselves with that. Then with red in play. How are we going to get up higher on our own? Because we need to bring the yellow down to smash that block, obviously. But with red, we can't use this power as the other cube. So that doesn't help us. We can't walk up the ramp. So what can we do here? I don't think we want to be trying to walk down into the sand with our red face. Uh, but what we can do, in fact, is if we make a second green face without wasting any of the other colored faces we already have, like that, we can make a copy of ourselves and then with that copy oh I need pink what am I doing if we bring that pink face over in incredibly awkward fashion there you go Now we're this far, we can teleport over there. Now, let me guess. We need green face up here. Then we need to pick up a green face, take the ramp down. Pick up pink face redo that. Okay, we went very high. This was unexpected. Yes, this was not the way it should have gone. I was anticipating just stepping off here, but we need red to be face up. That's a mistake on my part, but an easily fixable one. So, grab a purple... So we need red face up here. How are we going to send a green back if we don't have red face up now to fall off afterwards? We can't stamp the top of ourselves with red. So if we do send ourselves up again in the same way, we can't send a green backwards and have a red top, can we? Obviously that doesn't work. Oh wait, that works. So where's the simplest part of the solution? 
that you miss. So then we need to transfer that to our other face somehow. They're going to make this really tricky, aren't they? Tell you what, why stick it to this guy when I can stick it to this guy? That's way easier to get a hold of. There's a lot of sirens. I apologize for that. Right, now we can ride these up in our own fashion. Let's get... Do we have a pink? We don't. We're going to need one though, are we? No, we're not. We're just going to need red. Right, and we're off. Various different stages of cube. No missing secrets that I can see. Some part of my brain is like, if I break all of these, there could be secrets inside. Hey! Citizen Cubes, lore entry number three. You are a Citizen Cube, also known as an Ordinary Cube, or just Cube. You are sentient, smart, and full of potential, even though the Cube Factory has a lot of standardization and nowadays includes several contrived instances in the Cubes. Each Citizen Cube is unique and may approach problems differently. Citizen Cubes are often curious and adventurous. After the, after the path, there are plenty of things a Cube can do in its life. Each of the planet's sides has its peculiarities, so you will no doubt find one that suits you. Many cubes just love to roll around all day, but if a cube is more ambitious, it may strive to one day become a flying drone, a philosophizing and revered thinker, or revered thinker, or if the legends will allow it, even a giant. A giant? What are you talking about, game? Giants. Okay, well, we're going to need green by the looks of things. We need a face up. So we can make a clone of ourselves. With green. figured that was going to happen. So I need to be here when... Oh, come on. That happens. Then we can cross over there. Grab one of those. Make sure it's face up on this side here. That gets a copy of it. We can come back. Murder our extra self. Pick up that extra pink side. Oh, well. In that case, if we're one too many, We'll just have to collect it on that side. Still no. That side. Then we can stamp that over. Make sure we have a yellow. We do indeed. Teleport over this wall. And it looks like some kind of very grand entrance. Possibility of more secret code on those symbols. Oh, we're going down. Very interesting. And down further. Eerie. Nothing
nothing to be found here. I do like the wear marks where cubes before us have fallen. And the world becomes illuminated. We get some stickers. The world around us is only slightly unstable, it seems. And this looks like quite a tightly knit puzzle. So we've got green. Green cannot climb up that, but can step over this. And we've got green lasers, so stick that there. It's a good start. So then we can stand on this. And repeat that process. By stealing that face. Oh, but we need, no, we don't need to be anywhere. Yes, we do. What am I chatting about? We need two. I'm getting lost. We don't need to put a green face on that end. We need to make sure this receiver is blocked. But how are we going to do that when the other one wants to be the one that comes off, right? Because now we've done this. We can't get rid of this face, can we? It's stuck there forever. So, oh, but I can take that green face I don't know what I'm doing with it I want to be up there I want to go get a yellow I want to go get a yellow face but to use the yellow power we must be our prime cube not our clone cube so that means that I need my prime cube to go up the elevator right So I'm over here doing my business, being a cube. Oh wait, can I? Yes. Use the other face to turn off the laser. Smashing, right. Then we can make sure that that face is the one getting pushed over and that looks all good to me nowhere here for secrets to hide so we will march on this is looking very grand we've got many colors of cubes surrounding us I see a collectible at the end of this long pathway. I have no idea if we need to go to all of these plinths immediately or whether that's going to be what comes in the levels to follow. But we have the Council of Six. For as long as we can remember, there have been a council of six giant cubes whom we followed through good and bad times. Each of these giants wears the sticker of their own element. The royal sticker distinguishes the yellow member of the council, marking them worthy to be the head. If the head were to perish, its successor, after becoming a giant, would take its sticker in a careful, observed ritual, and the sticker of the dead giant would be erased with a square of water. Then the dead giant would be buried in the nearby cemetery. Other dead councillors are buried there on their respective sides of the planet. This means that by tradition there should only be one royal sticker in existence at any time. It was illegal to replicate the sharing of it with 
Replicate it by sharing it with other cubes. But we are sure that some of the early members of the council did it anyway. Over time, the rarity and holiness of the royal sticker plummeted. Today, it is simply known as the yellow sticker. The head still wears it, though, mostly for ceremonial purposes. As a newborn cube, this place is the highest of your path. This is your chance to greet the Council of Six. If they are in a deep slumber, please do so in silence. Right, so that's our collectible. What are we doing in these parts? Just saying hello, I suppose. an interesting collection. We've made multiple companions, but we can't go through here because we don't have the ability to zoom. So let's see what we can do over here. Not a whole lot. But we can create a bridge. And that lets us get a yellow sticker. Now, we can't cross this to give that yellow sticker over. So what are we going to do about that? Uh, I guess we're going to have to make a bridge of some description. Although with three of us and a three long section, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. But we can share our yellow sidedness over here. And that gets us there. Now, as we are, the blue switch is not thrown, so this platform is not up. So perhaps one person needs to be there. And then another needs multiple faces on 90 degree angles to have a yellow on top and a yellow facing forwards. You can just stand out of the way for a second. So I need more yellow sides. And I wonder if we put yellow facing forwards and to the right he said in a completely incapable way. There we go. If we zoom over, we will lose all of our stickers, but I wonder if in that last moment we will punch a sticker onto the opposing side. Our survey says no. That is not how that worked at all. So how are we going to get across all of this gap? Because we could do this, but there's only three of us. Oh, we can rotate through. Okay. Of course we can rotate through. Right. Give me yellow and blue. So, we need... You there. I need you with a yellow on you. So, you might remember... A good while ago, we had to use two of these cubes as a rotating pair of bridge. So we just do that again. And that lets us complete this puzzle. 
say goodbye to our copies. They are off. And we are out of here. Right, that's both of those. That is one line of the three to our black square that will give us the last one. Yellow two, desert wind. Uh, let's be hasty and see if we can't crack out two whole doorways today. We didn't find anything too taxing in that first set. But hey, we've got a whole lot of green over here. Right, we've got yellow. We've got blue. So what are we doing? Can we accelerate through here to hit those? We can. That's good. That's simple enough a start for us. That sends that over there. Then what are we doing with this? Okay, I understand. Except, okay, we're going to need green, of course. So we need yellow facing towards us and green upwards. I'm going to go get some more green because I can. There we go. So then we send our copy back over to break the beam. Ah, I lost my yellow because I had my guy drop off the wrong side. off that end. Good. That pulls back. Switches that. Then we can go over still as this clone cube whilst that is being solidified for us. Put this down. Then we can X this, break that, slide back over, and go and teleport our way to the next puzzle. Right, we're going to get some copies. Two extra versions of ourselves here. We've got a rotating mirror, or a 90 degree mirror rather. Let's see. That is not a stamp. That is... We've got a bunch of lasers. That is just an elevator back. So, I need a bunch of yellow... A bunch of blue, rather. And I want to shoot that guy over there. Give me another one of you. Give me a bunch of blue on here as well. Give me even more blue. All of the blue. Right, that solidifies that, which lets our last guy cross the bridge. Grab ourselves some yellow. Nothing hiding behind there. What about on this side? This looks like somewhere, somewhere something could hide. No. Right, well, we've got yellow now. So we can put that down on here. Then let me guess. You need to move. Where are we shooting lasers to?
Where is our extra goal? We want to cross this gap. Do we have green available? We don't, but we don't need green available because we have two of us. So, now that that is all set, we can cross over here with our extra pair of legs. And there's definitely no secrets hiding out in a subterranean part of that platform. Doesn't seem like it. Goodbye, my precious friends. We will carry on. Right, I can see a secret up in that top left corner of your screen. I'm gonna get a friend. Another friend. I hope that is the first one, otherwise we've missed something along the way. That red laser is not currently hitting anything. Interesting that these guys are here, but we cannot seemingly cross this great big wall. So I think that purple thing down there is going to teleport us up there to get that bonus cube. That's simple enough once we have a red side on the other side of this fence. For right now, though, I guess we can make a green cube, bring that over, and deposit some green over this side. It's about all I can think to do with that. But this is not a green laser. So what are we doing with these guys? Don't have red yet. Oh, here's what we can do. If we put our red up here, we can take our newly found green powers on this side, go and collect that red, and deposit it on that cube here. Then with that, we can pass that over Let's just do it the easy way. Let's see about going and doing this whilst we're thinking about it. Excellent, as expected. And then we need to use two of these to make a Z shape out of our lasers. I would like more red faces, please. Good. Right, how can I make it one further across? I don't think I can, so... I want to rotate this by 90 degrees. It's going to be easier just if every face is an orange face, isn't it? All right, that's good. That's one part of what we need. That's the other. What are we doing? Um, okay, now I can send this green guy. over here to collect a cross face and we will deposit it somewhere good let's do one over here as well if we can help it then we need to just do the same trick again in reverse all right good now we need to make sure we have a red face to deposit here. And is that everything? We got the secret. Was it the first secret? It was the second secret. We missed one. Right, we'll have to go looking for that later on. 
Goodbye, my QB brethren. All right, that looks like the end of the stage over there. We just have a great big old mess of mirrors. And also, if we want that cube, we're going to have to jump, fall off of that particular platform. So we will endeavor to do that. What can we start with? Well, we can start with this. Now, it is just us, so... This is going to be interesting. Now, if we could use that cube in the center there, the one outlined in white, we could probably bifurcate our beam and have two lasers, which seems like it's going to be important. So, let's do that, do that. Do this. Okay, that looks good to me. That lets us do this. Collect that. Energy flaws. I don't like writing documentation, but I was forced to participate in creating this encyclopedia as this is a collaborative project. So here it goes. Energy flaws. You can turn them on and off. Use them to cross gaps. I'm done. I'm back to share a fun thought experiment. It is said that while a cube falls, it always lands on the grid, perfectly aligned. But what if we turn off an energy floor while a cube is on it and there is no grid beneath? Will the cube float in the air or will it fall down? This paradox has caused so many sleepless nights that to so many cubes that the drones decided to make sure that such a situation cannot occur on the path. Thus, we will never know. All right, that's the extra bonus, but then what were we actually trying to achieve? We need to pick up a green, obviously. Um, okay, we have... Another yellow there. We need a green on top. Is that going to be it, or is that one too far over? That is it. But I need yellow on the other black sides. Right, so then... Am I currently the clone? I absolutely am. I don't want to be the clone. I need to stand there. But I need to have, again, more yellow on me so I can pass the laser all the way through and then have a green on top. Then once we've done that, we can pass the laser forward and right, like this. Create our clone. Make sure that we have yellow pointing out of that side. Go and cover ourselves in yellow faces. Then use what remains to do that. And that solves that final platform for us. All right, that did not take too long at all. Now the question is, are we gonna jump back in right now and look for that first collectible that we missed? Because we know it's earlier in the level because it was the first one that we'd missed. So why not? We can go and check out whatever this might be. Planet Core, one secret collectible there next time. Have at least 22 laser beams active within the same puzzle. I mean, I feel like we weren't too far off there at the end, but we will see what we can do for finding secrets first. 
Right. Could have been around here. So, first of all, we smashed those two bricks there. Because I thought I had quite thoroughly checked here and gone, yep, no, this is not it. But I will resolve this puzzle and I will let you know if I find anything. Right, I resolved this and apart from having two laser beams currently active because the puzzle wants to have as many as possible, we could certainly make this have all yellow sides apart from the top. And then that would make four more lasers. So I guess my brain is trying to do two things at once now. Right, so just green on the top here. Put that back on there. Then go and break this. Uh, excuse you. Oh, we need to specifically not have the one closest to us be yellow because otherwise it completes the circuit. So not that one, but all the others. But otherwise, unless there was something to do with this being so extensive, I can't think of a reason why touching all of these in a specific order would unlock a secret hidden collectible. So I don't think it's in this area. But I'll leave my collection of lasers back there. I can't leave my collection of lasers back there because we need to leave the level. All right, well, screw the lasers. I'm just going to look for the secret because I don't see it in any of this section. So what about this section? I looked in a lot of spots around here. It's not on the other side of these pillars. wasn't hiding anywhere down here so unless I'm missing something else so I'll give this another poke and see if I find anything again I've been through this level here and I can't see kind of any secret switches off in the distance I can't see anything peculiar towards the sky the puzzle is solved there's nothing hiding on the back ends of these pillars the only thing I haven't really used is our ability to dash around but I don't see how that's gonna impact anything around here really That lift just resets us if we fail in some description. So we will gather the one useless friend we have. Get us back up so we can cross over this gap here. I don't suppose that unlocks anything peculiar. I'm stuck. This is getting awkward. Right. Yeah, I'm going to guess that doing that didn't unlock some kind of secret area late into the puzzle. Not that I would know where they would put it if they did. So, I'm still not convinced that the extra hidden thing is around these parts.
then we're back here where we already found a secret. So unless there is a second secret hiding around here, I'll have a brief look, but otherwise we might have to give up for today on that one. No, I am a little stumped, so we will head back to the hub. And we will call that a day, but next time we will head into the final great big gate here. Into planet core. See what awaits us there and then see if anything else is going to happen afterwards. I know there's the secret levels in the center and a whole bunch of challenges, but I don't know what else might come after that. For now, though, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.